Uh, first of all, I wanted to say thanks to everyone for taking time out of your busy schedule to attend our, our event. As I was introduced, my name is Gus Pavon. I'm the uh, CTO of Greenplug. Uh, I've been in the power supply field all my life, actually all my career, although sometimes it certainly feels like all my life. And uh, my experience has been in forward-looking applications for power conversion technology. And uh, Greenplug is certainly no exception to this. As I've been listening to all the presentations this morning, I'm, uh, I'm humbled actually by the amount of knowledge and experience that's here today. And so hopefully today I'll give you some useful information that'll generate some synergy between our mutual interests as well as power conversion technology. Okay, since its inception, Greenplug has had the goal of bringing three benefits to industry. Convenience, reusability of power supplies, and best efforts at efficiency. So how do we do this? One word, Green Talk Protocol. Green Talk Protocol is our primary intellectual property. It's at the core of our approach. A Green Talk enabled power supply is a real-time, dynamically configurable power system that adjusts its output voltage to whatever level the system deems it best for its performance. We've all, we're all familiar with the term universal power supply. I mean, and to me, this is a great misnomer. A universal power supply really applies to universality at input voltage. With Green Talk, a power supply tr becomes a truly universal power supply. Universality by way of its input voltage, but more importantly, universality by way of its output voltage. So let's talk a few words about efficiency. We've heard the word a lot, used a lot today. We are proponents of high efficiency. Our architecture is slightly, uh, it's slightly disadvantaged because we use a, a two-stage conversion architecture. However, we, our intent is we use the best efforts at high efficiency. We use, in our architecture, which I'll go into here, uh, here shortly, we use a single stage power factor correction at the front end. Basically, this means uh, uh, it reduces the amount of heat that's dissipated and improves the efficiency in a power supply. We use, in our DC to DC converters, a burp mode architecture. Burp mode, basically what this means is, it, this is an, eff, uh, an effort in, in which the efficiency curve, which tends to fall off at the end at lighter loads, is flattened. So it's, it, it's a good way to keep efficiency flat or broad over, over a broad range of use. We use synchronous rectification in our architecture. Synchronous rectification is a fancy way of saying you just replace a MOSFET switch with a diode and eliminate or reduce greatly the power that's dissipated in, uh, by uh, certain diodes in the architecture of a power supply. But with our Green Talk protocol, more importantly, we have the capability to enable or disable the second stage of conversion. And by doing this, we feel we can deliver a superior no-load performance to really anything that's available in industry today for an equivalent system. OK, so first of all, I'll, I'll start off with a slight apology in, in that I, because of time limitations, I can't go into the level of detail that I would like to with, with this, but please feel free to corner me uh, during the break or, or at lunch at any time to, to discuss at length, uh, I'll talk your ears off on this, about our architecture. But this, this is an example of an architecture of our reference design. Uh, what we have here is an example of a reference design based on a three-port three -port system. Uh, on the top in, in blue and in, in, in the uh, yellow, you see the power supply architecture. And on the bottom, you see the digital architecture. Basically, using our Green Talk protocol, the bottom portion of our architecture communicates with the client system, uh, arrows to the, to the lower right, in such a way, as I said, to communicate intelligently and configure the power system via controls that are outputs of the microcontroller controlling our high-performance DC to DC converters, and thereby changing the output voltage to any level that, that, it, that is, is needed. I mean, that has huge potential in many ways that I can go into. 
an important point about this architecture is that from the power supply perspective, it's very much an open architecture. Via our communication that's on the lower section of the, of, of the architecture, we can configure or apply our approach to virtually any power system that's available today in industry. Another very important aspect of our development has been our power connector. We've discussed that a little bit, or heard a little bit about it this morning. So now we have the makings of a universal power supply. However, we still have a problem. We don't have a way to connect to the electronic devices that they need to power because each one of them uses a different connector. Greenplug is proposing a standard universal connector, power connector. So here we have our connector design, a rendition of it. It's a connector based on the familiar mini, mini USB uh, standard. For an application at, at low power, mini USB is, is more than adequate, providing, there we go, providing connection via the well-known power port and, of course, intelligent communication. However, via our development, we've extended the capability of power to the mini USB connector by adding what I call power tabs. So with these power tabs, we've extended, oh, okay. Thank you, Bud. Much better. That's not me, it's just, it's Christmas, I guess, anyway. With, with our development and the extension of, and the use of these power tabs, we've extended capability of a mini USB connector to seven amps, or roughly 140 watts. So an example of the power tabs are what you see here. On the side, each side, you have the high, the positive conductor capable of delivering these seven amps. On the upper and the lower portion of the connector, you have the uh, return pass, which of course have to be capable of supporting the same amount of current. So we feel this is one possible uh, solution to the problem that we, that, that we feel is, is, is so prevalent, the lack of a universal power supply or universal uh, connector. So for a lower, uh, low power application, uh, I mentioned the front end of the connector can plug into a device like a phone. Here is a rendition of how the power, how the power connector would plug in and flush, go flush with a system level uh, receptacle that would be low profile and fit pretty much any uh, device such as a computer system. We've talked about green plug and our, our goals at providing some benefits to industry via our green talk protocol by making a power supply truly universal. As a supplement to this, we've talked about our efforts to, to deliver and develop a, a universal power connector. And by the way, I should say, it's our intent with the power connector to, we've developed this at our own time and cost with the intent to freely license this to industry. The whole, with the intent to just basically promote the concept of a universal power connector. So what's next? Well, I think we, as we sit and think, we feel like we've only just begin, begun to see the possibilities for improvements to the power supply model by way of intelligent communication. Uh, I used to have a shirt that said, it's an analog world. I used to wear it proudly to, to, work, to work all the time. And, and just recently being green, uh, and because the thing was getting old, I, I recycled my shirt. So if you see it, some guy wearing it uh, while he's doing mowing the lawn or doing his yard work, you know where it came from. But power supplies are analog today and always will be analog. However, there is a huge emerging potential via intelligent digital communication and digital control of power supplies to provide power supply side benefits as well as system side benefits which will greatly provide some of the elements some of the elements that I listed here and we at Greenplug intend to be at the forefront of this coming wave